Apple announces the iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C, and iOS 7 availability. Google's LTE Nexus 7 finally becomes available in the US. And if you thought that the hardware keyboard was dead, well, think again. I'm Jaime Rivera, and probably the only golden thing that I look for when I buy a phone is a discount certificate. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the non-Apple related news. Those of you waiting for the LTE variant of the Nexus 7 can finally pick it up in the United States on the Google Play Store. It retails for $350, which is kind of steep, but Google actually sweetens the pot by offering a free month of T-Mobile data, which is really good. You also get free shipping as well, so make sure you order that thing before it sells out. Now, speaking of Google, Motorola has just sent this new device into the FCC, which is kind of interesting because it's got all the specifications of a smartphone, but it's just being dubbed the touch computer. You see LTE bands, you see pretty much everything that makes a phone a phone, and still, it's not being called a smartphone. There is actually no product name that hints to any particular Motorola phone. This is actually just a touch computer. So it begs to wonder what Motorola has under their sleeve, or pretty much Google using the company, so stay tuned. Probably a new product category. And speaking of of Motorola, if you thought that the Curity keyboard was dead, well, think again as we've got the first leaked photographs of the Droid 5. And yes, you get the slide out Curity keyboard as you did before. It's actually identical to the previous one that we saw on the Photon phone that was available for Sprint from Motorola as well. Though interesting, it does not have the same specifications of the current Droid Ultra lineup, so it's kind of a mid tiered phone. But, anyways, leave us a comment down below. Is the Curity keyboard still interesting to you? All right, all right, let's begin with the Apple news. As Apple has just announced the availability of iOS. 7. You can download it on your compatible device as of September 18th. And yeah, iOS 7 is one of those polarizing topics. A lot of people either like it or they hate it, but a lot of people wanted for Apple to revamp the OS, and that's exactly what they did. But aside from all the typography changes and the colors, you aren't getting some new enhancements in the UI. They're kind of compelling, and since you will have to upgrade anyways, just stay tuned. It's free. And finally, for the hot news of the day, yes, we finally get two new iPhones at the same time. The iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C. This is pretty much everything we saw in the rumors. In the case of the 5C, for example, this is an iPhone 5 with a different chassis. It is everything that we knew in the iPhone 5, only with a plastic colorful back with a lot of cases that you can match it or non-match the phone. It's kind of interesting. And again, $100 after a two-year contract for the 16 gig model, 200 for the 32 gig. But in the case of the iPhone 5S, this is interesting. I mean, this is exactly the same design of the iPhone 5, but in this case, you get an A7 processor, you get new optics on the camera that don't necessarily bring optical image stabilization. You get, you know, bigger pixels or a bigger sensor, but actually it doesn't bring any enhancement except for the flash. Probably the only cool thing is the fingerprint scanner because now you won't have to be unlocking your phone. And Apple kind of figured it out from the hands-on videos that we've seen. It seems that Apple did figure this out. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Um, are you interested in any of these two iPhones, either the 5S or the 5C? In my case, obviously, I want the flagship. I want the 5S and most probably in one of the three colors being the, the gray, black variant that's out there, which is not necessarily the black variant that we knew before. But I know people like Michael Fisher want the plastic, colorful variant of the iPhone 5C. So leave us a comment down below which are you interested in. Friends, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and top of the world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.